Hey guys, welcome to another edition of What's New Wednesday. It's Chris here with Josh, and we're at our local comic shop, Carolina Comics and More. And we're going to show you what's new this week, and then we're going to show you what we picked up, and we're going to pick our favorite covers for the week. So let's start with Marvel. So new this week in Marvel, we have got Punisher number six. Uh, really interesting looking cover. I like it. Um, this has been a good, I've heard this is a really good series. Also, I'm pretty excited. We got She-Hulk number six. You know, I'm reading those. If you've seen my background, it's full of She-Hulk. Um, another Marvel that we have this week is Moon Knight number 15 is out. This one's a really cool looking one as well. Everybody loves Moon Knight right now. Uh, All Out Avengers has started this week. This is issue number one. There you go. And we have a variant cover with that. And I believe that's a Scotty Young Blade variant yeah, cover, cool which cover. is really cool. Um, Philip Kennedy Johnson is starting his next run of Alien. This is the second uh, story from his Alien series. Uh, we got it right here. This is issue number one. I've heard some great things about the first run. Uh, I have to go back and catch up on those. Uh, there's a couple of variants as well. We'll show you those on the video. Um, Star Wars number 27, uh, Charles Soule, writer of... Uh, 8 Billion Genies, if you saw our video earlier this week, we were uh, recording 8 Billion Genies. Number 27 is out. Uh, we also have New Fantastic Four. Uh, Peter David's writing this one. This is issue four of five, so we got that one coming out. We got the Immortal X-Men, number six. This is the uh, Spider-Man cover, variant cover. Very That's a pretty cool. sweet cover. Um, we also have Judgment Day, number 24 is out. Wolverine. Is on this one. This is actually the Wolverine. Captain America Sentinel of Liberty number four is out this week. Uh, really good story. I've been reading that one. That's a great story. Uh, Marauders number six is out this week for Marvel. Uh, again, continuing that Judgment Day story. Um, Death to the Mutants number two is out. Again, continuing the Judgment Day story. And we also have Spider Man 2099 Exodus. Uh, this is Alpha. Actually, this is Omega, so we're at the end of this. Uh, we got two covers here, and uh, we'll throw the rest of them up on our channel. That's all the Marvel. I'm going to move on down to the Independents. Independent-wise, here we have uh, uh, James Bond, 007, issue number two. Uh, this is a Dynamite comic, a uh, great cover. I love the uh, black and white and gray overtones. Also from Dynamite, we have Red Sonja number 10, the Invincible Red Sonja number 10. And last but not least, certainly, we're, we're at the end of this saga, Twig number 5. It is uh, the, the end of the story. I'm kind of sad, but I can't wait to get home and read it. Now we're going to turn it over to Josh. With hey guys, Josh here with the rest of the Independents, and then we'll move on to the DC. Image this week has Spawn number 333 out. That's a pretty cool cover. wonder if it glows in the dark. <laughs> you never know. It looks know. like it might. Um, Image also has out issue 5 of their anthology series. Okay, That one came out this week. And then we're going to switch over to Dark Horse Comics where we have Survival Street number 2. A dystopian Muppet story. Okay, and finally, we have one more image. I missed an image. Golden Rage, number two. So we have their book there as well. That is all of the independent books. Now let's take a look at what DC has out this week. This one I'm excited for. Dark Knights of Steel, Tales of the Three Kingdom, number one. Tells the story of Superman, Batman, and um, Supergirl when they were young. Um, we have Dark Crisis, issue four of seven. I can't wait to read this one because I feel like Something major is going to happen in this book. Um, we have Batman number 127 out this week. I'm excited for that one. Yes. Um, we have the new Champions of Shazam number two. That's a pretty cool cover there. Um, Batman Beyond Neo Year issue six is out. Nubia Queen of the Amazons, number four of four, so that's the finale of that issue. Flashpoint Beyond, number five of six, this book is wrapping up next week. I have a feeling that might tie in somehow to the Dark Crisis. We've got Teen Justice, number four, out this week. And we got Poison Ivy, issue four, out this week. And finally, from Black Label, the Sandman Universe Nightmare Country number five. 
And that's all DC has out this week. So, hey guys, this is Josh here. We're adding a new section to our What's New Wednesday videos called Favorite Cover of the Week. For me this week, I had a tie. I picked up Dark Knights of Steel, Tales of Three Kingdoms today, issue one. It's a one-shot, and it's a story about the Superman, Supergirl, and Batman when they were kids. And the cover is just really cool with the kid versions of them on the front. Um, I also picked up Twig number five, and the Scotty Young cover has got to be one of my favorite covers this week. Scotty always does great work. Now I'll turn it over to Chris to show you his favorite cover of the week. Hey guys, Chris here with my favorite covers of the week, and I actually had a tie this week as well. As you can see, All Out Avengers number one, the Scotty Young cover with Blade, uh, done by Scotty Young is really cool. I really enjoyed that cover. And then uh, what I've been reading recently, Batman number 127. I really like the look of this cover. I really enjoyed it, and I can't wait to get home and read this book. Go. Hey, guys. Here's my Wednesday pickups for Wednesday, September 7th. Uh, my new books, I picked up Dark Knights of Steel, Tales from the Three Kingdoms, number one. Uh, I picked up the Batman variant cover, of course, because I am a Batman fan. Why not? I also picked up this week She-Hulk, number six. I decided to check out the new champion of Shazam, number one, and I thought this was a beautiful cover. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. Um... Book four of Peter David's new Fantastic Four. I'm picking that up. I started reading it a couple of weeks ago and really enjoyed it. So I figure it's a five issue run. Let me go ahead and get all of them. Star Wars number 27. Great book. Uh, really good to read. Charles Soule is writing this. He's the writer of 8B and Genies, which if you're not reading that, check out our past video and we'll tell you why you should be reading it. Obi-Wan Kenobi number four. Pick that up. Uh, one more in this uh, series as well. Excited to read this one. Uh, Twig, number issue five. This is the last in this series. And I got the Peach Momoko cover. And last but certainly not least, Batman number 127. I went with the variant cover. Looks really cool. Uh, Chip Zdarsky's doing an amazing job night right now writing this story. Hi guys, Daniel here. My pickups for the week. Um, I didn't really get a lot this week because I um, need to catch up. It's been uh, since our Greenville trip before I got anything, so I only picked up four books this week. But anyways, here's what I have this week. We have Twig number five, Starhenge number three, Superman World, War World Apocalypse, the one shot that ends the War World Saga, and Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths number four. That's all I have for this week. I still got some catching up to do. Um, I'll probably catch up in a couple more weeks um, once I get back to the comic shop. But anyways, back to you guys. You picked up. Hey guys, Josh here with my pickups for the week. I got the Dark Knights of Steel, Tales of Three Kingdoms number one. I got that Twig number five, that Scotty Young cover, because I'm a big fan of Scotty's artwork. I picked up Dark Crisis number four of seven. I'm excited to go home and read this one. We're at the halfway point, so something exciting should be happening. I'm avoiding the spoilers online. And then we have Multiversity Teen Justice number four. I'm picking up this one. I'm really enjoying this series. And finally, I picked up Dark Horse's Survival Street, the dystopian Sesame Street story. It, it's not for kids, but it's a fun read. So that's all my pickups for today. If you like what you see in the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Click that bell so you can get notified when we have new videos on the channel. And, and follow us on social media. We're on all the major social medias. So until next time, we will see you at the shop.